So I was recently sent these golf shoes, uh, the brand new company, Tomo, I think they're, they're called. They're from America. Uh, they have, I think the, the line they use is the golf shoe of tomorrow. Now they're a, as you can see, spikeless pair, but they're designed for lifestyle. They're basically like a pair of trainers. So I'm gonna give these a proper test. Now I need to sh pop to Paris um, today because um, I'm shooting tomorrow and then I'm flying back tomorrow night and I need to pop up to the guys uh, bunker mentality because it is their bunker jam as well so I'll be filming that um, so I'm going to be wearing them traveling all day playing shooting all day tomorrow where I'll be up and walking around so I give them a good test and then tomorrow I'm um, sorry on Thursday I'll be out on the golf course giving them uh, a try out there and I should probably get time on the range as well um, in between shooting and stuff like that to actually give them uh, a little test on the golf course as well they look pretty cool uh, they don't come in too many sort of colors pretty standard they do like a charcoal uh, a, a blackish pair of this forest green and like a khaki as well let's uh let's get to Paris um, I'm only going for one night like I said uh, but I've got all my camera gear so I'm not traveling light So, made it to Paris. Got my own chandelier. Happy to see this. Coffee will be consumed. It's what, 10 past, quarter past eight now. I'm here for a shoot uh, with actually Sir Nick Faldo. I'm gonna do some stuff with him. So gonna meet the guys at uh, Octagon, who are the sort of media company that look after him uh, tonight, Jeremy downstairs and stuff like that. Um, shoes though, very comfy actually. Um, let's go through a couple of specs. Two more golf, let's go through uh, the facts. Right, contour fit, a water resistant single layer knit that provides a custom fit. So shoe, so like I said, it's not your biggest technical shoe. So um, water resistant is good. Didn't think it would have that. It's got like a, a sort of a knit, um, upper, you know, think cross knit, prime knit, that sort of knit. It's got that on the arm, but it says it's water resistant, which is good. Um, can survive like maybe a couple of puddles. Obviously, I wouldn't suggest it through the winter. Less is more at only 9.8 ounce. Your foot will never get tired in these pillowy shoes. And I have to say, uh, they are exactly that. They are ridiculously light. Um, it was one of the first things I noticed is that they are a very nice shoe, light shoe, and sort of walking through the airport and sort of traveling all day today, haven't really noticed them on my feet. They've been really comfortable. They've been really light. Um, and yeah, a very nice sort of traveling shoe, day-to-day -day pair of shoes. Better memory, our unique material offers memory foam comfort without the memory foam heat, keeping you cool all day. And though it hasn't been overly hot today, uh, I wouldn't say that my uh, feet have They've been a nice temperature all the time. And then obviously on the bottom, you've got some sort of grippiness. Um, you've got little nodules on there, as you can probably see, to try and give you some grip during uh, when you're playing golf. So obviously I haven't done the, uh, the golf test in these yet, but what I can say is that they are actually really comfortable for traveling in. Like I said, walking around, waiting in airports, um, traveling most of this afternoon, uh, most of today actually. And I pretty have, my feet have had not a problem in them. Can't even speak. I'm just gonna get close to this chandelier here so you can get me. Um, yeah, so I haven't had a problem with them actually, uh, which is nice. Uh, be interested to see, I'll be obviously on my feet all day tomorrow shooting. So that will be a test. Um, and then the day after actually on the golf course, how they handle as a golf shoe will be interesting. Uh, definitely they are a summer golf shoe, like I said, for people in England. Um, they're an American company, so they're used to the nicer weather out there not your ones for winter. Um, I'm gonna go meet some people, have some dinner and get some sleep and I will catch you in the morning. So on set, if that's what you wanna call it, <laughs> little alleyway here um, in Paris with that as a beautiful backdrop. Nice, pretty place. Uh, doing some, just got some social media uh, filming with Sir Nick Faldo. Um, and Kelly Slater, the surfer, so it should be good fun. Um, shoes are on, nice and comfy. It's a little chilly this morning, but they seem to be quite warm as well. Fairly warmish, um, not too bad so far. Uh, we will see how they feel at the end of the day though. Um, but yeah, hopefully, possibly, 
might be able to pop over to the Ryder Cup later as well, um, depending on what time we get done here for today, but then I fly home tomorrow, uh, tonight. Um, but yeah, nice to be in Paris for a little bit. So from the glamorous Paris uh, to Nottingham, uh, I'm at the Nottingham Shire now. Flew home last night, uh, didn't get home till like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Drove up here this morning to shoot for Bunker Mentality. They've got a their Bunker Jam, which is a competition that they host. Just sort of started it, fun competition, group competition, um, but on every other hole you have to do a little challenge. Uh, so whether that's tee off with sort of persimmon golf clubs to nominate someone that points are uh, their points are doubled or there's a beat the pro there's a tee off with a putter lots of random things just to keep it interesting night it's fun light hearted just making a video for them taking some pictures glorious weather here little tired need some coffee but having fun so back home now and i've worn these Tomo shoes, pretty much non-stop. What do I think of them? First of all, go through the good points. They're really light, they're really comfortable. They look like they're gonna last a while. I sort of haven't seen any scuffs or anything on them or any of the threading sort of, you know, coming loose or anything like that. So they look like they're well made. Like I said, they're light, they're comfortable. Um, for a sort of everyday trainer pair of shoes, I mean, they're amazing. Um, I would buy them as trainers and not as golf shoes um, quite easily. If they were just a pair of trainers, then yeah. Uh, I like the styling, they're you know discreet, they haven't got bright colors, they haven't got huge logos. Now as an actual pair of golf shoes, that's where I have uh, a small issue with them. Um, now, the only issue I have is the stability. Now, if I was going to the range or, you know, going to short game area and just pitching and chipping and stuff like that, perfect. They work amazing. The grip on the bottom is enough um, to give you enough grip um, in a dry condition that you would not have any problems with them. Obviously, I live in England. Um, it rains quite a lot. They are a little bit water resistant. Um, I haven't really been through much rain or water in them, so I don't know how waterproof they are um, or water resistant they are, but, you know, in the winter, they're not gonna they're not gonna work as a golf shoe. Um, and then the the fabric itself um, is quite um, because it's light and airy. There's not much support there, so you can sort of see that it moves around quite a lot. So obviously, the forces you're putting down into your feet as you're swinging the golf club, they don't provide the support um, that some people will want. Now you know your casual you know, golfers that might not play golf that much um, and just want a nice pair of shoes that they can wear on the golf course as well, they'll work perfectly. Um, if you're after a technical pair of golf shoes, um, they won't provide the support um, that you need for, for turning. Now they're not designed really to do that. Uh, they're designed as a, they're an American brand, so you know, sort of summer pair of shoes. If you wanna go and play nine holes in the evening, they are perfect for it. Or if you just want a pair of trainers, they are perfect for that. Um, they're just not gonna, you know, provide the support that you get from a, a proper leather spiked pair of golf shoes. Now there's, like I said, there's no issue with that as long as you know that in advance. And I don't think you would ever buy this pair of shoes thinking that's what you were gonna get. I will be wearing these a lot more. Um, definitely uh, on day to day um, wearing and times that, you know, maybe I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to the golf course. Um, or I'm gonna be able to pop to the range, I can wear them, don't have to worry about taking shoes and stuff like that. So really good buy, I would say. Um, just be aware of what you're buying and don't think they're gonna give you all the support in the world. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Paris was fun. Ryder Cup um, is now over by the time this video comes out. Um, so it's Saturday night at the moment and we are 10-6 up. Uh, so fingers crossed we can do it. And um, I'm off to Spain next week, so lots of videos coming your way from there. But until next time, peace.